Gentlemen and ladies, today we are discussing the limits of human intelligence, Professor Albert Dawson announced to his class, adjusting his glasses as he paced in front of the massive chalkboard. The University of California's elite calculus. Class was packed with eager students, many of whom had come to witness a special guest attending that day. Sitting quietly in the front row, Elon Musk listened without reaction. Dressed in a simple blazer and jeans, he looked unassuming, blending in with the students. Few people realized that the billionaire had an extraordinary talent for numbers, having excelled in theoretical physics, engineering, and advanced mathematics. Long before founding Tesla and SpaceX at TAS, Professor Dawson, a staunch liberal academic who often mocked businessmen as lucky capitalists who exploited the system, had been openly critical of Musk's achievements. He viewed him as an overhyped entrepreneur rather than a true intellectual. So, when the university invited Musk to sit in on one of his lectures, Dawson saw it as the perfect opportunity to humiliate him. Mr. Musk, Dawson said, turning to face him with a smirk. Since you're here, perhaps you'd like to prove whether you're as intelligent as people claim. Let's see if your brain can handle real mathematics, not just business spreadsheets. The room fell silent. Students turned their heads, watching closely. Some chuckled, expecting the professor to embarrass the billionaire. Elon leaned forward, resting his elbows on the desk. He could see what was happening. The professor wanted to make a spectacle of him, but he wasn't one to back down. All right, Musk replied coolly. Throw me your toughest problem. Dawson grinned. He turned to the chalkboard and began scribbling an incredibly complex integral, one so advanced that even his best students struggled to solve it. This will shut him up, Dawson thought smugly. But as he finished writing, Musk glanced at it for only a moment, then casually leaned back in his chair. That's all, he asked with a smirk. The class gasped. Dawson frowned. Does he actually think he can solve it? Musk calmly stood up, walked to the board, and picked up a piece of chalk. Then, in front of the entire class, he started solving it. With shocking ease, Elon Musk's hand moved swiftly across the board as he began solving the intricate integral. The classroom was silent, except for the faint scratching of chalk against slate. Every student leaned forward in their seat, eyes glued to the board, their disbelief growing with each passing second. Professor Dawson, who had expected Musk to hesitate or fumble, folded his arms, his smug expression faltering. Surely he's just guessing, he thought. There's no way he can solve it correctly. But Musk wasn't guessing. His approach was methodical, almost effortless, as he broke the problem down into its components, where most students would have struggled to even set up the integration process. He moved with confidence, using shortcuts and advanced techniques that many in the room had never seen before. Halfway through the solution, one of the brightest students in the class, Daniel, squinted at the board and muttered, Wait! He's actually right! A ripple of shock spread through the room. Even those who didn't fully understand the math could sense that something extraordinary was happening. Professor Dawson's fingers curled into fists. He had spent decades studying and teaching mathematics, yet here was a man known for engineering and business casually handling one of the toughest problems he could throw at him. Musk turned back to the class with a smirk. You might want to check my work, but I'm pretty sure this simplifies to... He wrote the final elegant answer and circled it confidently. Dawson's face turned red. He quickly grabbed a piece of chalk and began checking the solution himself. His eyes darted across Musk's work, hoping to find a mistake, just one small error that he could use to discredit him. 
but there wasn't one. After a tense minute, Dawson exhaled sharply, throwing the chalk down in frustration. Impossible. A few students started clapping, then more joined in. Soon the entire class was applauding Musk's brilliance. Elon turned to Dawson with a polite smile. I appreciate the challenge, Professor. Anything harder? Dawson glared at him, humiliated, but not ready to give up. Fine, Mr. Musk, he sneered. Let's see how you handle something in pure theoretical mathematics. He turned back to the board and prepared an even more difficult challenge. But deep down, he knew he had underestimated his opponent. Professor Dawson, his pride wounded, turned back to the chalkboard with renewed determination. All right, Musk, he thought. Let's see if you can handle something even my top students struggle with. He took a deep breath and started writing a new problem. But this wasn't just any problem. It was a mathematical proof involving abstract concepts from topology and real analysis. Subjects that were far beyond standard calculus. By the time he finished, the board was filled with symbols, Greek letters, and complex notations that even some of the students found intimidating. Dawson stepped back, dusted off his hands, and turned to Musk with a smug expression. Let's see you handle this one, Mr. Musk, he said. If you can solve it, I'll personally acknowledge that you're not just some lucky billionaire, but a true intellectual. The class murmured in anticipation. The challenge had been set. Elon Musk didn't hesitate. He walked up to the board, studied the problem for a moment, and then, just as before, picked up the chalk with complete confidence. Interesting choice, Professor. He said with a smirk, this proof reminds me of a similar one I studied when I was younger. You see, the trick here is to use an unconventional approach instead of brute force. He started writing. The students watched in amazement as Musk dismantled the problem piece by piece using elegant logic rather than tedious calculations. He introduced a clever transformation that simplified the entire proof.